We are now joined in the media center by our second place finisher, Kevin Harvick, driver of the number four, Jimmy John's Ford. You guys were out front all day, heard the stats of the first sweep um, for Stuart Haas Racing. Talk about today's race with so many unknowns. Yeah, it was a, it was a good day for us. Um, you know, our pit crew was, was solid. Uh, Rodney made a good call there uh, in the middle of the second stage to keep the track position and, and, and be able to uh, drive away and get the stage win. Uh, they had a good pit stop to, to close out there, and, and the 14 just gambled and rolled the dice that the rain must have been uh, going to come, and, and he was able to, to keep me on the bottom there uh, just by you know a little bit on the, on the restart. And then it was just going to take me a, a few laps to, to work back by. Uh, but he did, a, he did a good job hanging on to his car, and, and the gamble paid off for him. Great. We'll now open it up to questions from the media. If you have one, please raise your hand, and we'll bring you a microphone. We ask that you state your name and affiliation. We'll start with Bob. Bob Pockers, ESPN. So are you pissed? Because I mean, you looked like you were you were kind of in position to win, and you know, and circumstances seemed to just not go your way. I can't control the weather, Bob. <laughs> Okay, and also wanted to ask, uh, were you confused at all at the end of the first stage when they were going to open the pits, but then they closed the pits because there were two laps left in the stage, even though the caution had come out? Um, I didn't know the scenario there, so they just I saw the pits were closed. You'll have to ask somebody from NASCAR. All right, we'll come over here to the left and then go back to Jeff. Uh, yeah, Kevin, this is uh, Roy Akers, Detroit Sports Media. Obviously, you had great control of the race all the way through. And I heard Clint Boyer say one more lap, you probably would have caught him. I mean, that's just racing luck. Yeah, and look, I've been on I've been on both sides of this. So, and you know, if you're going to have racing luck work against you, you want to at least stay on your own team. Um, so, you know, that was it worked the other way at, at Dover. He, you know, he was kind of in the same position, and we went back green. And today, it, it worked out for him. But, um, you know, our guys, the, the exciting thing to me is we did a great job on pit road, and we're able to maintain. Uh, the track position and, and beat everybody off of pit road and obviously those guys took two tires and a gamble and and it rained for them in what three laps so you know it paid off pretty good we are now joined in the media center by our third place finisher kurt bush driver of the number 41 monster energy haas automation ford kurt you started from the pole today um, and we knew rain was on the horizon all day talk about your team strategy heading into stage two we had a we had an excellent day all the way through. Um, no big mistakes, no big rough moments, um, and pit stops were solid. Adjustments were solid. Restarts, um, I'd say three quarters of the time I was on the inside lane, so that might have been a little bit where we were uh, pinned down. But you have to make do with what you have and how the chips fall. And so I'm happy with our effort today. And you know, to finish third, rain short, and of course you always want to go back racing again. But to see the two cars in front of me at the end, the four and the 14, that's a big day for Stuart Haas Racing. It's, it's very special to finish one, two, three. Uh, I tried to get to your outside when we were on the track, maybe get a picture with 14, four, and 41 on the, the front straightaway to, to symbolize such a special day here in Michigan and to, to win you know, at Stuart Haas for Ford, one, two, three. It's a huge day in Detroit. All right, we'll go to Jeff. Jeff Cluck from jeffcluck.com for both of you. What is it about a track like this where the Fords are showing their strength? I mean, is it is it engine? Is it aero? Like, what? Why? Why on this track is it more obvious than other tracks? Well, I mean, you've been around this sport a long time. You've you've seen Dale Jarrett and Ernie Irvin, and um, you know those cars have dominated up here for for years with those engines under the hood. So, you know, I think just the it's a Really, really honored to, to drive the, the Roush H engines when you when you get to a place like this because you don't have to. You can be a lot easier on your car. Obviously, they're they're doing a great job with their cars, and it's a combination of things. But um, you know, Doug Gates and those guys they like to make big horsepower on the on the big end of the motor and and put a lot of effort into into this particular race weekend. Yeah, I, I can echo those comments and also say that it, it it's a team effort to not have any weaknesses. And we also come here to Michigan for bragging rights. I've always driven that way. And it, it really shines through when you see 
Doug Yates here, Mark Rushbrook is here, everybody from all departments. Uh, the chief aero guy was here this weekend from Stuart Haas. You know, we put in a full effort, and it's, it's bragging rights to win at Michigan. We'll go to Holly, and then we'll go up to the press box. Holly Kane, the NASCAR Wire Service. Either of you could answer this, actually, but how surprised were you to see uh, your brother Kyle up there in the middle of the Ford party at the very end after having to start from the back. I know, Kevin, you guys were kind of joking a little bit before the race started, and but is that kind of what you expected him to be able to do? That was quite a drive for him as well to, to get up there. Yeah, I mean, obviously those guys, you know, if Larson and, you know, Kyle get to the um, back of the pack, I mean, they're going to be driving through the pack and doing great on restarts. So those guys had a, they had a good, both of them had a good car in practice, and, and it wasn't really any surprise to me. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before you're going to see them pop up because we had um, the competition yellow at lap 25. You know, there's stage one, another yellow. You know, then there's the two tire sequence that you can jump in on if you really want to gain some track position. So, uh, you know, the Kyle and Kyle, you knew they were going to show up. All right, we'll go up to the press box. Steve Schweitzer with Alaska Press. Kevin, um, if it hadn't been your teammate that you were racing against there on the final restart, would the results have been different? I don't think so. I mean, he, you, we raced pretty hard. You know, I got I got fairly loose up up underneath him. Um, you know, the, there in three and four when we went down there on the back stretch, and and I drove it in there. He drove it in there and, and slid the back, and and he was able to you know get me sliding enough to where he was able to clear me. So, um, yeah, I, I don't I don't think it would have been. I don't I wouldn't have raced anybody any different. I wanted two more laps. Yeah, I just cleared Kyle, and I yeah. saw you two side by side. I'm like, ooh, it's, it's like a fishing reel. <laughs> I was hoping I can get up in there. Any other questions in the press box? One more? Press box clear. All right. Come over here to the left to Ray. Yeah, thanks, fellas. This is almost like a Chamber of Commerce moment for your team. I mean, going for first, second, third. You're in the chase. Clint's in the chase. Kurt? You got. I mean, you must really like your chances. Your team must really like what you got going forward. Yeah, we've been consistent this year. We haven't had uh, that super perfect all-star type day. We've just chiseled away at being consistent, uh, not making mistakes, and our day will come. Uh, we just have to put ourselves in position more often. Um, you know, one of the times off pit road, uh, I, I came out in, in fourth. And then a car stayed out in front of us, and that put me to the fifth spot. And I'm like, well, just one of those times when things just don't quite go your way, but we had a fast car. And again, it's, it's easy to smile and go into this off week and celebrate a, a Stuart Haas 1, 2, 3. It's very special. Any final questions for Kurt or Kevin? Great. Thank you, guys.